Hello and welcome back. The last time we finished the part of nutrition for the plants and today we'll begin the part of the nutrition for the animals and the humans. And so we will be addressing the heterotropic nutrition. So the concept of the heterotrophic nutrition is receiving complex substances, then changing it into more simple substances. Because the animals and the humans take their nutrition uh, in the form of carbohydrates, fats, and buttons, which are very large and complex molecules, they cannot be absorbed through the cell membranes inside their bodies. So, there must be a process to break down these molecules into more simple molecules such as amino acids, glucose, glycerol, and fatty acids. They can be easily absorbed through the cell membranes, either by the fusion or active transport. So, this process of breaking down the large molecules into smaller ones is called the digestion. So the definition of the digestion is the process in which the large molecules, which are called the polymers, are broken down into smaller molecules called the monomers by means of enzymatic reactions. So the next point, of course, we will talk about is the enzymatic reaction. And the first thing we will know the meaning of the word enzyme. So the enzyme is a proteinic substance. with the properties of a catalyst and the catalyst in chemistry is a substance which is introduced to a chemical reaction to increase its speed without affecting its chemical products so here the enzyme acts the same way it has the properties of a catalyst and the enzymatic reaction which occurs by the help of the enzyme depends on two factors the the, the nature of the enzyme and the structure of the reacting substances And after the enzymatic reaction is done, the products of this reaction leave the enzyme as if it was in, in this reaction. It leaves it in the state as it was before the reaction. No change happens in the enzyme as if it was a catalyst. Because the catalyst in chemistry is not affected by the chemical reaction that it enters. It only accelerates the speed of the reaction. So we can type the enzymatic reaction in equation. So we have the enzyme plus the reactants with two reverse lines here to give an intermediate product showing the enzyme and the reactants to give at last the enzyme plus the products. Well here Something we must know about the enzyme that the enzyme have a reversible effect. So if the enzyme was used to recombine two products in one new product, it can also break down this product into the original ones. For example, if 
this is an enzyme like this and here we have two reactants this way one and two we go to the next step where the intermediate unstable compound is formed we can draw it this way where the three substances form all one compound and this is the enzyme and at last we have two compounds our enzyme and the new product combined together we will get number three so if the enzyme was used to combine these two substances together to form this newly product number three it can combine with number three once more to give rise to one and two and the original reactants but here we drew reversible lines only after the combination between the enzyme and the reactants and we didn't draw the irreversible lines once more after the uh, intermediate compound because we have said that the enzyme has a reversible effect so we can draw it like this so we have written the formula this way because it depends on a, a, a law which is called Mikhail's Menten kinetics so it's something that belongs to physics and we have to write it only this way if we want to write the equation of the enzyme plus the products we can type it like this enzyme plus product reversible line to give rise to intermediate and stable compound and at last gives rise to the enzyme plus the reactants and the last point to mention is that some enzymes are produced inside the body in an inactive state for example there is an enzyme which is produced inside the stomach and this enzyme is called pepsinogen it's activated by the hydrochloric acid to give an enzyme which is called pepsin to digest the product inside the stomach and we'll talk about this later so that was our lesson today and I hope it was easy and until then I thank you for watching and see you next time